increased seismic activity from one of Hawaii's most active volcanoes, Kilauea, has resulted in approximately 320 earthquakes in 24 hours, according to the United States Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Hawaii 최대 활화산 중 하나인 Kilauea 화산의 지진 활동이 증가하면서 최근 하루 동안 약 320차례의 지진이 발생했다고 미국 지질조사국 하와이 화산 관측소가 발표했습니다. That's a lot of volcanic activity. 320 in 24 oh, hours. Exactly. It's like yeah. an earthquake every five minutes. Exactly. Something no, like that. That's, that's very scary indeed. But uh, this is a very active volcano, so I guess we're expecting some movement. Maybe yeah. not this much, but uh, yeah. I mean, the whole area, I mean, it's been raised on uh, volcanic action. So, I mean, people think of... Um, obviously Mount Everest as being the tallest mountain in the world, right? Because mm -hmm. in terms of uh, elevation compared to sea level, it is. But um, a lot of people don't realize, in actuality, if you were to measure a volcano by the actual height mm. to where, you know, its floor is, yeah. it's actually um, one of the, the mountains in Hawaii called uh, Mauna Kea. Oh. Because if you think about it, the rest of that mountain is just in underwater. Yeah. So if you actually, you know, were to measure the mountain from the sea bed mm. uh, to the actual height of the mountain, it would actually be, yeah, a Hawaiian uh, mountain. That always fascinates me and it terrifies me at the same time to mm -hmm. think that there's so much under the water that we don't know. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you think of all the action going over there, 320 earthquakes in 24 hours. You can imagine mm. um, just how, how many tsunamis or tidal waves and things like that could form from this sort of stuff as well, because yeah. uh, that's a lot of where tsunamis come from as well. Yeah, exactly. Seismic action. Uh, let's quickly look at active volcanoes, three types of volcanoes, right? So active ones are the ones that, you know, are... Spewing the, out yeah. uh, things, whether right. it be lava or uh, dust and smoke. Mm. And then you have the sleeping ones. Uh, dormant. Right. And then the ones that are dead, right? Um, extinct? Extinct, yes. Yeah, volcanoes. So, we're going to talk about the active volcano. Active volcano. And then, the volcano. Dormant라고 하고, 그다음에 이제 사화산은 extinct volcanoes라고 얘기를 합니다. 자 그러면 우리 주요 표현 한번 볼게요. Seismic activity. Yeah, when we're talking about seismic activity, we're talking about basically earthquakes and the rumblings of the ground or the moving of the tectonic plates underneath us. Um, we're talking about basically just movement that results in the ground rumbling a certain amount. So in most cases, we're not going to feel that, right? But when there is an earthquake, then there is going to be a little bit of movement or shaking, essentially, that uh, we feel. And uh, we call that, uh, yeah, seismic Size. activity. There mm. is movement beneath us. Yeah, it's just another term for volcanic activity. Mm -hmm. 지진 활동이란 뜻인데요. 이 단어, seismic로 종종 쓰입니다. 스펠링은요, S-E-I-S-M-I-C 이렇게 쓰고요. 다음에는 result in something. Yeah, when something results in something, you're having A lead to B. Mm. So because A uh, happened, that has led to B happening. There's been seismic activity, and that has led to uh, or resulted in 320 earthquakes in 24 hours. Mm. Result in A. Uh, 무엇의 결과로 A가 되다. Could you give us an example sentence for that? Yes, his hard work resulted in recognition from his boss. Ah, 아, 열심히 노력한 결과 어, 상사로부터 인정을 받게 됐다. So resulted in recognition이라고 하셨네요. 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Increased seismic activity from one of Hawaii's most active volcanoes, Kalauea, has resulted in approximately 320 earthquakes in 24 hours, according to the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory.